All right, welcome back, folks. We've just gotten our first rulings from the Supreme Court just moments ago. Defense attorney and former federal prosecutor Scott Fredrickson joins me now to talk about this. Uh, so two rulings, Scott, not the major ones, not the contentious ones uh, that everyone's been waiting for, but pretty significant. One having to do with the EPA, another one with bankruptcy protection for Purdue Pharma. Right. Well, you're exactly right, Vlad. These are not the, the uh, sexy decisions we're waiting for, the January 6th uh, case, the presidential immunity, but uh, still very important. In one case, the court has, uh, has denied uh, or essentially put on hold the uh, attempt by the SEC to enforce a regulation that controls pollution emitted by one state that may blow over or go over into other states. It's called the good neighbor rule, and the court has said, uh, uh, no, you uh, are not, you're not authorized to enforce that rule. So uh, that's an important, uh, not only for restricting the power of the EPA, but also what it means for other federal agencies. The other ruling is the opiate ruling. There was a multi-billion dollar settlement reached uh, by the opiate uh, manufacturer, uh, Pharma. Uh, but what was critical uh, as part of that bankruptcy settlement, it was uh, pharma, uh, I'm sorry, Purdue Pharma had filed for bankruptcy and a plan was approved to provide for billions of dollars to be paid for the victims, but it provided a shield for the Sackler family who owned Purdue Pharma. It shielded them from any civil liability. Uh, today, the Supreme Court said that shield is not allowed as part of our bankruptcy code. So that deal is done, it's off, and it's back to the bankruptcy court. Um, for those who were critical of the shield uh, provided to the Sackler family, that's a victory. For those who wanted the multi-billion dollar payout to the victims, it means uh, a longer process and another day in the bankruptcy court. Uh, Scott, real quick before we let you go, uh, does it appear to you in your time as a lawyer that the EPA over successful, uh, several successive rulings, uh, both at the Supreme Court and at the lower court level, has been weakened significantly over the years since it was first formed? Oh, Vlad, you're, you're completely right. We see a whole string of decisions. Uh, it's almost uh, as if the Supreme Court has its eye out for the SEC. Uh, but we're expecting one more decision that will deal in all likelihood, an even more powerful blow, not only to the EPA, but all of the federal agencies. Again, this is not a decision that sounds, uh, you know, real popular for people to follow, but it's called, uh, it, it, it relates to what's called the Chevron decision, which historically has said that courts have to defer to federal agencies interpreting ambiguous uh, laws. And this Chevron uh if you will, interpretation has existed for decades. This Supreme Court in all likelihood is going to wipe that away and say, no, the uh, federal agency, whether it be EPA or another agency, has no right to make that interpretation. It has to go back either to the courts mm -hmm. to make that determination or to Congress. That will change uh, a universe of uh, regulations that have been interpreted by the agencies in our federal government. Hmm. Uh, remarkable that many of these agencies were put into place to protect the little guy. Uh, really fascinating to see what's happening. Scott, as always, thank you, my friend. We'll check back in with you a little later if we get some more decisions.